All right, people. Mike Saladin here again. Welcome back to some more Dark Souls. Uh, today I'm just playing Dark Souls Three, uh, the Ring City DLC. I'm very late to the party on this. Uh, I did play it back in 2016, but I actually never beat uh, this boss that I'm gonna fight today, uh, called the uh, Dark Eater Madir Dragon. Uh, I just find him really, really tough. Uh, but I looked up some strategies on YouTube and one person whose account I can't remember at the moment but uh, they recommended to use Pestilent Mist which is a sorcery uh, apparently it's pretty good against him so I decided that I would go uh, find uh, that uh, spell and use it against Madeir just to see if I could finally beat this guy because I definitely just gave up back in 2016 and went on to fight uh, Slave Knight Gale instead and just finished the DLC because Madeir was optional. Um, I did summon the NPC you can summon as well that makes it a little bit uh, trickier gives the boss more health I'm pretty sure but also I kind of just liked having the NPC here as a bit of a distraction so that I can get in close and keep, pa keep uh, trying to cast this Pestilent Mist spell which does uh, persistent damage over time as long as the dragon is standing there so it's a pretty decent way to wear him down um, and also you can get in a few hits with whatever weapon you're also uh, carrying you I really don't do a lot of damage even though I'm a really really overpowered at this point I'm pretty sure I'm close to level 200 or something crazy like that and I was still fairly stuck at this guy um, and I'm just uploading this just in case uh, anybody else is stuck and they want to know if the strategy they've heard about using Pestilent Mist uh, works uh, in 2022 and I can confirm that uh, it is effective against him there's some stuff you're gonna wanna uh, do to help improve your sorcery like get the Dragon Crest Ring I think it's called that greatly boosts your sorcery damage. Uh, also, get a, get any ring that boosts fire uh, fire resistance. Uh, and also, I'm wearing Havel's armor uh, with no helmet at the moment because it was weighing me down, and I need to be able to roll. Even though I'm pretty terrible at dodging everything, my deer's throwing at me. Uh, I just like to have Havel's armor because it has really good fire resistance or fire absorption or whatever it's called in this game and as you can see I've got him down to half health now but I've not got many Estus flask left I've been very sloppy running into a lot of stuff I should be avoiding but at this point I've been fighting him for I'm not quite sure how long but it was to the point I was like I just need to get this over with so I was just uh, really just running in there, casting the spell, and then just wheeling on him until I ran out of stamina. Sometimes you got lucky and he stayed in the spell for a long time like he just did there now. While trying to hit the NPC who, for somehow they managed to survive this long. Uh, a lot of the time they were getting taken out pretty quickly. Um, and they kept drawing his attention here so I was able to get in and keep casting the spell near his back leg and then also wheel on him with the sword and that was pretty effective uh, so thanks to whoever it was that first discovered uh, this uh, pestilent mist uh, spell that discovered that this was useful against Madeir because he's honestly one of the fights I just hit a brick wall with because I was mainly a pyromancer, you can see some of my pyromancy spells that I've got attuned there. And they are just useless against my dear. So, um, it was good to find this method to finally get past this guy. And it was pretty fun in the end, actually. And I'm glad the NPC survived. That was, uh, good. So, alright people, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time with another video.